Hi Aries, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for October 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, rising sign, and moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in October and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from your cusp sign, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, and Aries Moon. I'm using the Tarot Mucha Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Aries, now on to your October 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have, Aries, is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is an air sign person. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. Could be you if your Sun, Moon, or Rising sign is in one of the air signs. You know, I get <clears throat> October seems like a month for you that is going to be of bold action. And if it's not bold action on your part, bold things are going to come in that are re going to require bold, a bold action or other people could be taking bold action that's kind of directed at you. You're going to have to assimilate to changing circumstances. You may find out that you have to change, like maybe you need to move money in a different account or out of something, you know, out of some type of account into another. You may also be asked to spend time with someone who really needs your help, your advice, uh, or your friendship, your love, your care, you know, caring. Uh, maybe this is somebody that's sick. It could be somebody that is going through uh, an emotional upheaval or disturbance and they need you like to advise them, counsel them, or to be a shoulder to cry on. Everything's going to happen very fast for you, and I feel like a lot of things in your life are actually going to speed up over the next six months. You may have to train yourself in a new way, re-educate yourself in a new way. So <clears throat> this could be required from you at your job or at a business you own. You may need to retrain something retrain yourself. If you work it for a business or company, they may be feeling like you need retraining in a particular area, or it may be just something things are changing. So you need to retrain, uh, get retraining or retrain yourself in something, something you do for work or business could even be a hobby or a, uh, a craft or some skill you possess. You may feel like you need retraining. <clears throat> you could have somebody that wants to borrow something from you in the month of October, but I'm going to warn you right now, Aries, I don't feel like you're going to get it back. It, it could be, you may also need to loan somebody money. Yeah, I keep hearing it. I'm getting it again. Like you're going to find out you have to change something over. This could even be like a type of insurance or <clears throat> I don't know. You have to think about what would you have to change over? First, it came up to me like accounts, money. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have really bad allergies to ragweed. So I'm sorry for the noises I'm making. I do take medicine for it, but it doesn't work very well. So there's something that you have to change, uh, something you have to, something you have to change over it keeps coming up here. So the next card in your reading is the, uh, King of rods. 
this is very likely could be you because this is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising sign. Could be another fire sign person in your life. There's something you may feel like you have to take control over or put back into order. So something that like, you know, maybe you got your house painted and the furniture and everything was moved and, you know, now you have to put it back in order. Or if there was some like flooding or a uh, hurricane, tornado, anything natural that could have happened from mother nature, your yard may be in disruption and now you have to put it back in order. This could also be your finances. You may feel like you need to put your finances back in order. You may be putting some things on pause and on hold that you're going to have to get back to at a later date. Because it could be that things you have to do for your business or work is going to be very demanding and overwhelming to you or you're going to have extra work to do. So you may have to put other things that you had on the back burner. This could also be maybe you wanted to start a project in your in your home or at your residence that you were like all geared up like, oh, I'm going to retile my kitchen floor or, you know, I don't know what. Uh, it could be anything that you want to work on. Re-landscape your property. It may, th other things are going to come up here, I hear, that are going to make you have to put something on pause and put something on hold because I just get this energy like you're going to have a packed schedule or a lot of work or business you have to attend to. It could even be a lot of home projects. Maybe there's something fun you wanted to do and you have too much things at your home you need to take care of. So something fun you wanted to do has to go on hold and on the back burner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that, uh, but it could be that area. You have dynamics changing here between you and somebody you are friends with or used to be friends with. So if you had a falling out with somebody that was a friend, it could even be a relative or a love partner, but it really feels like friendship to me uh, or family. It feels more like friend or family that you uh, had a falling out with. The dynamics of that relationship are going to be shifting and changing. And or it could be you're friends with them now or everything's okay now, but something could happen that changes the dynamics of this relationship, this friendship. It could be a love relationship. Don't get me wrong. It could be, but friendship and the family um, vibe comes up here the strongest. So the next card in your reading is, you have a lot of people cards here, <laughs> Aries. What's going on? You got uh, Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is a water sign person. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign. This could be you if you have a Sun sign, Rising sign, or even, uh, you know, your Sun, Moon, or Rising because people cross watch for their Suns, Moons, and Rising. So if you have a strong water placement, this could be you, but it could be another water sign person connected to you. This could be somebody you start to have feelings for or you already do have romantic feelings for and you could be finding yourself gravitating to them more strongly. Or if they're new to you, if they come in as a new person uh, in some regard, you could gravitate to them very strongly um, in the month of October. This could even be like, you know, it could be a coworker, somebody you work with and suddenly you find yourself gravitating to this person. It could even be a friend for some of you. This could also be somebody that's trying to get you to listen to them, that they're trying to, uh, they want to tell you something 
and they want you to listen to them. They may be trying to tell you to keep going with something, to put the pedal to the metal, not to give up on something that you've recently started or that you're starting to do. So it could be a uh, diet exercise program, could be to do with your work or a new job or a new, like something you're starting new. This person may say, look, you could be, a, this could be a teacher, instructor, mentor, could be a relative, could be your significant other. Uh, that's telling you you're doing good. Keep up with what you're doing. Don't give up. Put the pedal to put the pedal to the metal. Um, that is what I get here. But for some of you, this could be a love interest that you are gravitating towards them, and they may have interest in you. You look at them like they're intelligent, high-minded. They have good ideas or ideals or both. And uh, back to the relationship thing, I feel that for some of you, this is somebody that feels like they, they feel like they want you to spend more time with them outside of something. So if this is like somebody and you work with them and you're sort of falling for each other, they may feel like we need to spend time outside of work so we can see, do, do, do we, are we in sync with each other? Do, would we get along? How would that work out? Or maybe it's somebody from a club group or organization you belong to and you only see them at that club or group or organization and they may feel like, I want to get to know you outside of this specific situation. I feel like your communication skills are very strong with this water sign person. Now, before I go on to card numbers th uh, four and five, I just want to say here, I always like to drop in and tell you my latest video series I've recorded from my Vimeo On Demand pages and the most recently recorded video series is my solar eclipse in Libra, October 2nd, 2024, psychic tarot crystal and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. That's a lot of divination tools right there I use to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my guides about how this eclipse will affect you. And remember, eclipses bring change endings, beginnings, blessings, sometimes karma. Many people find that the eclipse readings are like private readings, so you may really want to check that out. And if you do, watch your rising sign and your sun sign if you can do both. But always go by whatever resonates with you the strongest on YouTube. You know, whatever videos you find, if it's your sun, get your sun. If it's your rising, get your rising. Um, also, you may want to get my other eclipse series because we had an eclipse in September. My eclipse effects from the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, September 17th, 2024. Psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. You're getting affected by both of these eclipses, usually one month before the eclipse happens, strongest the month of the eclipse, and for the next three months. But eclipse effects can sometimes last six months, nine months, 12 months. You know, it's, it's all different. Eclipses have different strengths uh, and, dur you know, durations of their effects. So you may really want to check those out to see what's going to come up for you. And don't forget, my Psychic Crystal readings for October of 2024 are also available. Those links are all down below in the description box in the show more section underneath this video, or you can go over to my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. The crystal readings are a continuation and an expansion of what I'm doing right here for you. Uh, so you may really want to check them out because I look into every area I can think of to look at for you each month. So I hope you'll decide to check them out. And thank you for your purchases of those Vimeo videos. They keep this channel going. 
So now on to card number four, you have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is a card that symbolizes uh, standing your ground, drawing a line in the sand, standing up against your any gossipers, naysayers, or detractors. If there's any battle, you're likely to win it. It could also indicate that you're standing up for yourself. You may feel like you have no doubt that there is people or someone in particular pushing your buttons and they're trying to get you to react. If you deal with the public, if you make videos, it could be a troll uh, trolling you, uh, trying to tick you off and get you to flip out and react. It could be uh, if you deal in customer service uh, or you, know, you deal with the public in any way. It could be happening through those areas, but it could also be people you know personally could be, you know, trying to get you worked up for some reason. Somebody could reveal themselves to you where you are like, uh-huh, yeah, I know what you're all about. <laughs> I hear the collective consciousness of Aries saying that, like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, okay. Now I know, now I got the picture of what you're really all about. So somebody could have be, been like uh, a frenemy, a fake friend, or somebody that, you know, you didn't really, you know, you thought you just had like placid feelings or thoughts about them, but then they reveal that they're actually, you know, someone unsavory that you are like, oh, okay. Now I see. You may also find out that something was said about you behind your back. This could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be somebody you deal with at work or in a club group or organization you belong to. <clears throat> you could have had somebody that has also tried to hide their feelings about you and what they think of you, uh, they may have tried to keep that secret or covert, but they may let it out of the bag in the month of October, maybe it could even happen in November, where you find out that they, you know, what they think about you, and it may be something you don't like, like you don't want to hear it, <laughs> you're like, oh. That's what you think. That's how you feel about me, or that's what you think about me. There's definitely a change or a shift in a dynamic of a relationship. That is what I feel the most. So, in some case where you were friends or things were copacetic and, you know, good, then they turn around and the dynamics of the relationship is changing it's coming up here again that came up earlier i don't remember which card but i've heard that prediction already and i've heard that message already in this reading i feel like it's going to make you mad uh some of you i feel like you're going to cry it depends on you know your rising sign and your moon sign especially your moon sign because that affects your emotional responses to things as to how you personally, Aries, are going to respond. So uh, some of you are going to be mad. Some of you are going to be sad. So the last card in your reading, you got another tricky one. You know, a couple of the signs are having like, I don't know if October is going to, October may be a difficult month. I don't know. But you got three of swords here. And this is uh, feeling sad. This could be loss. Sometimes this card comes up when there is a divorce uh, or somebody could have cheated. This is that kind of energy. This, I hear the collective consciousness of Aries say, I used to believe in you. So this is somebody, I feel like somebody has kind of like shattered your view, which I got earlier in this reading. So your theme of dynamics changing in a relationship or like a shattered reality of you've had of somebody, your reality of that person is now shattering. 
This could be somebody that used to talk to you a lot or was friends with you a lot and now they don't want to talk to you anymore or hang out with you or see you. This could also be in a love relationship, somebody you used to date or it could be more serious for some of you. This could be a serious love partner that is not interested in being in a love relationship with you anymore. It could be that, that you find out they just don't, they're not in it with you anymore. They, they're not into you anymore. Um, so that could be a friend. It could be a love partner. It could even be uh, maybe a coworker that you were kind of friendly with or, you know, um, I don't know, but it really comes up like you being disappointed in what's gone on here. This could also be if somebody doesn't treat you the way you want to be treated and you could be very disappointed and disenchanted and disheartened by the way somebody is, is treating you. So this can come up with, you know, again, the same cast of characters I said before. This, uh, my guides are also saying this could be, you could feel like you trusted somebody and they let you down. And you may not deal with this person anymore. You may not see them anymore. You may not deal with them anymore. I don't feel like you're going to hold back on your feelings about this. If somebody has hurt you or disappointed you, I feel that you are going to really be letting them know. You're going to be telling them, you know, this, you know, like you hurt me or this is a big disappointment to me or, you know, like I don't see you taking this quietly. And I'm going to remind you before you go down to the comments section and get mad at me about this reading. Uh, you know, remember your rising sign or moon sign, if, if Aries is your sun sign, your rising sign or moon sign may really be giving you messages more strongly than your sun sign. So you can't just really go by the predictions and messages that come up in one of your signs because lots of people find it shifts and changes like one month their rising sign makes sense and suddenly their moon sign does. So try not to get yourself overboard and worked up. You may already have some inkling about this when you hear this. If, if, you, if this is like a, a ringing true to you, like you think, oh, I think I might know who, what this might be about, you know, but I don't know that you're going to feel blindsided. I, I don't know that. But you really need to watch all of your signs, sun, moon, and rising. So the next uh, thing I want to tell you is the best gemstone crystal I got for Aries to work with, use, and wear in the month of October 2024. And you got Dalmatian Jasper, which doesn't come up that much. And Dalmatian Jasper is like connected to your inner child. It helps bring a positive outlook. It promotes, uh, it brings balance like yin and yang. It promotes devotion to others. It reconnects with a playful nature. It is a strong, brings strong protection and shielding. It's helpful in overcoming depression. Dalmatian Jasper combats exhaustion and boredom and nightmares and negative thinking. Dalmatian Jasper encourages humor and seeing, and seeing humor in situations. So, so based on what came up for you in this reading, it really sounds like Aries could benefit from uh, wearing this stone, sleeping with it under your pillow, uh, carrying it with you in the month of October. It's going to give you a real definitive sense of what's right and what's wrong, what's right to say and do, what's wrong to say and do. It, it's a stone that's going to motivate you to have fun, to go out, outside, in nature, have fun, hang out with your friends, uh, do any kind of activities, sports or activities that are fun to you. 
it's a good gemstone to help you put the past behind you and move on. This is a good gemstone crystal for you to wear because it will help either alert you or ward off to negative people and energy lurking around in the corners. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it. Share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And hit that notification bell and click all to get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand videos, my most recently recorded video series are always posted down below in the description box in the show more section under the video. And they're also on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. My most recently recorded video series, as I said earlier in the video, in case you missed it, is my solar eclipse in Libra, October 2nd, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. You're being affected by these eclipses we had last month and this month, and they bring new beginnings, change, endings, karma, and blessings. So you really may want to check those out. People feel like they're like private readings to them. And you may also want to get your rising sign and your sun sign in that video series. Also, my eclipse effects from the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, September 17th, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card readings are available on Vimeo as well. These eclipse effects on both of these eclipses last up to six months or even up to a year in some cases, and you're probably getting affected by them one month prior to the eclipses. So you may want to see what's coming up because this world's changing and these eclipses could give you some insight that might be helpful to you. As well as with all these changes, you may want to get my Angels, Ancestors, and Ascended Masters psychic oracle card readings for these changing times for each sign of the zodiac they're kind of different messages i use four different uh types of angel and ancestor and oracle cards in the reading for different decks so you may want to see what i got for you there the last time i did that video series was 2021 also, don't forget my psychic crystal readings for the month of October 2024, where I look into the crystal to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that are a continuation and an expansion of the psychic tarot readings that I do here on YouTube and Rumble. If you haven't checked out my Rumble channel yet, it's called The Lucky Mermaid LLC. Uh, there's many other video series linked down below. Um, I'm not going to get into each one of them there, but I have ones covering love and finance. Uh, you know, so you may want to see what's happening because if you like my videos here on YouTube, you're probably going to like my Vimeo videos. I do the same work with my guides that I do here uh, that I do also over there on Vimeo. So um, if you'd like to also see more predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on a video format, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram, and at The Lucky Mermaid on X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there where I post written predictions, five paragraphs long, and I use oracle cards and tarot cards to get those messages. And maybe the whole reading may resonate with you or only parts of the, those five paragraphs will resonate, but you may want to check them out. Lots of people like my written predictions. And you can always go back on my social media pages and read ones from the past, just like the videos. Don't forget, 
If you purchased videos on Vimeo before, you should go back and watch ones you've purchased in the past because every now and then I have somebody that tells me they watched one from a year ago or two years ago and they say that stuff is happening to them now. Same goes for the YouTube videos. You may, you know, if you're cooking or driving in your car, you may want to go back and listen to a reading from a year ago and see if those messages aren't applying to you now. It does happen quite a bit. So, um, you know, also, if you would like to donate to this channel and help support the work I do here, there is a donation link down below connected to PayPal. And I do greatly appreciate your donations. Some of you don't want to buy the Vimeo videos. You don't want to deal with any of that. But your donations are greatly appreciated because it does help this channel grow and keep it alive and keep going. So it does help me to make these readings possible to keep bringing them to you here on YouTube. Otherwise, I could not do them and just do private readings all the time. And Reiki. I do Reiki. I do private readings. Uh, if you're interested in uh, finding out about how to get on my cancellations list, my, clo my, uh, my um, wait list is closed. I closed it in 2018 and I'm nowhere near through it and my cancellations list, there's over 2,000 people waiting. So you can go and see how to get on that cancellations list, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's a very long wait. I only have a few days each month I can devote to doing private readings. So they, the list moves very slowly. But I hope you have an absolutely outstanding month of October to all the signs of the Zodiac out there. And know that I wish you... Many blessings and peace.